What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. The other day, Fanboy Zhang decided to decommit from Gonzaga and decided to join the G League Ignite team. He joins Mike Foster out of Hillcrest Prep, as I believe the only two players so far committed uh, to the G League Ignite team for this coming year. And so I kind of just wanted to give my thoughts on his decision first to decommit from Gonzaga and what's next for the G League Ignite team. So let's get into the video. So first, I wanted to talk about Fanbo Zhang and his decision to decommit from Gonzaga and join the G League Ignite team. He's a four-star prospect who is a 6'9", 190-pound power forward, ranked about 75th nationally, depending on where you look. And he looks to be a pretty intriguing prospect as he looks to be a pretty versatile forward who can do a little bit of everything. Uh, shooting stroke looks decent. Uh, looks like from the clips I've seen, he can pass the ball. Uh, he's blocking shots in the clips, obviously, it's highlight tapes. Uh, but you can see the versatility and the potential that this guy has. But my problem with him deciding to join the G League and not go to college is I just don't feel like he's truly a one-and-done type prospect. Uh, being ranked 75th in the class is pretty low if your expectations are to go one-and-done and join uh, the NBA uh, after a year. And I just don't think after... A year it'll put him in a good spot I mean you look at some of the players from this last year uh, who were not named Jalen Green or Jonathan Kaminga I don't think the G League route was worth it for them unless their family really needed the money then that's different uh, but just talking from you know a draft potential spot uh, players like Dacian Nix and Isaiah Todd uh, they're nowhere to be found in the first round of mock drafts this year uh, they were both you know top 25 players uh, you look at Kai Soto, same thing uh, as this guy, uh, ranked about 75th in his class. He's nowhere near a draft, mock draft this year. And so I don't really agree uh, with his decision to, to not go to college. Now, maybe he didn't want to go to Gonzaga. That's you know a different situation. He could have decommitted and went somewhere else. But like I said, overall, I think deciding to go to the G League for him uh, is going to be a bad route. So who can we expect to join the G League team going forward uh, and join these two guys? Um, I think a player who you could almost pencil in as going to the G League would be Jaden Hardy. I know I heard a long time ago that that's what he was looking to do. Uh, I don't know if that's still true. I haven't seen a whole lot about him lately, but he's uncommitted. And like I said, he's been rumored to be joining the G League for a while now. Other than him, I'm not sure who else they could really pull from the class. Uh, there's Patrick Baldwin, but I've never seen him uh, mention anything about the G League uh, as he's, I think, debating still again between uh, Duke and playing for his dad at Milwaukee. So I don't think he's a G League candidate unless they can convince him. And then I guess it depends on if they can convince someone else who's committed uh, to go to the G League instead. Uh, which we saw with Dacian Nix, uh, who was committed to UCLA, and they got him to go to the G League instead. So they'd have to get someone like that, uh, someone who they can convince uh, to join them. Overall, though, I think this class is a lot weaker than last year's, uh, especially for you know possible candidates for going to the G League. Uh, Jalen Green and Jonathan Kamingo are both really big names. Uh, both, uh, you know, could have you know gone anywhere they wanted, and so. Those were huge gets for the G League and really good first class for them as both those guys will be top five draft picks. But I just don't think this class is as strong. And so I think it's going to be tough for the G League to form a team like they did last year and get the eyes on them that, you know, players like Jalen Green and Jonathan Kaminga were able to generate. And so it'll be interesting to see if they can get anyone else uh, to join them and what they'll do uh, if they only get maybe two, three, four high school guys, uh, what would they do then? Uh, so it'll be interesting to see. But overall, this is kind of just, like I said, a discussion video. Wanted to talk about the G League Ignite team. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on this year's class? Who else should they try to get uh, to join them? Leave those thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys later.